This is my second most anticipated case for my brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max. The first one is the regular Rebel Gen 5 that I'm using for my iPhone 15 Pro Max, and it's the one that has the Aramid fiber backing. This is pretty much just like the regular Gen 5 case, but it just has a frosted back instead of the Aramid fiber. And the really good thing about this, unlike other clear cases, it's not going to show fingerprints nearly as much, if at all, like the regular clear cases. This case also comes with Phone Rebels Gen 3 tempered glass, which we will be testing out with a drop and a scratch test later in the video, so make sure you also stick around for that. Phone Rebel also sent me out this 45 watt car charger, which we also will be testing out. It's super compact. It's got two USB type C ports. It's got power delivery 3.0, quick charge 4.0, and it's also got support for quick charge 5.0 as well. This case also has some really cool customization features, which I'll show you in just a minute. And if you've never heard of Phone Rebel before, it was started by a YouTuber called Everything Apple Pro, and I'm really glad he did because he makes some really great cases. So here you get your one screen protector, and then here is the case itself. It feels really nice. It's got a nice solid hard backing. As you can see in the middle, it does have MagSafe built in. If we look at the inside of the case, you can see it's got these blue bumpers in the corners of the case, and that's to help with shock absorption in case you happen to drop your phone. So let's put our phone inside the case. Goes on nice and easy, fits really well on the phone, feels good in the hand. All the buttons are super clicky, easily accessible. On the side again, as you can see, it's got that serration to help with grip, and it also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone either. Now, I don't have the tempered glass screen protector on the phone yet. I want to show you what it looks like without the screen protector first, then we're going to put it on and then do the scratch and drop test. But as you can see, it does have a slight raised edge on the sides and on the bottom without the tempered glass, and we also have more of a raised edge in the corners so it won't touch your screen if you happen to put your phone face down. Now we also have those same little raised edges on the back, on the bottom, and in the corners, and that's to help keep the phone from wobbling when you put it on its back as well. We do have those separated volume buttons and the action button, which I love. We have our cutouts on the bottom here. We have our power button on the other side, along with that same uh, kind of texture. On the back again, it's got that nice frosted back that does not show fingerprints, but it shows off the color of your phone, looks really nice. And we also have a solid metal cnc ring around our camera lenses, which gives you extra protection, feels really premium, and it also has a nice depth to protect your camera lenses as well. Now let's test out the MagSafe. Here I have a MagSafe power bank clips onto the back really nice, and it also charges your phone immediately. It's also got a really nice strong hold on the back, so your MagSafe accessory is not gonna just fall off. You can also regular wirelessly charge with this case as well. I think that looks pretty cool. Now, I also mentioned that you can customize this case, and it's really cool. You can change out the buttons on the sides here for different color buttons, as well as that camera ring on the back. And to show you what I mean, here's last year's Gen 4 model, which I swapped out for these really cool orange accented buttons, and you can do the same thing for the Gen 5. They actually just released their brand new colored buttons for the Gen 5, as well as their colored camera rings as well. And I will be putting a link in the video description for all of this in case you guys want to pick it up yourself. Now, if you're curious how much this weighs versus the Gen 5 Flex and the regular Gen 5 with the Aramid fiber, this one weighs 51 grams. The Flex weighs 45, and the regular Gen 5 with the Airmid fiber back weighs 55. And in case you're wondering, it's super easy to change out these buttons. All you need to simply do is press in the buttons that are already there. They pop out just like that. And then you just simply press in your new buttons and you're all set. 
And if you wanna change out the camera ring, it's also super simple to do. It just has these four screws that you undo, put the new ring on, and then put the screws back in. The buttons and the camera ring for the Gen 5 Frosted and the Air Mid Fiber case are interchangeable, so if you buy something for one case, it will work with the other. So now let's install the tempered glass. You get your installation packet and one tempered glass, and I would definitely recommend putting your phone inside the case because it'll give you a little bit of a guide when you're trying to line up the screen protector. So the first thing you wanna do is to clean off your screen really well with the alcohol wipe, and then dry it off. Then remove any dust with the dust sticker. Then put your guide stickers on the screen protector just like this. Then peel off the underside of the protector. And you use the stickers as a guide to put down your screen protector on your phone. The screen protector will adhere to your phone screen. You can kind of help it along if you need to. There were a couple pieces of dust that I did have to get out, but this screen protector looks really good, fits perfectly with inside this case. It does look like we have a slight gap on the top of the phone here and a very slight gap on the bottom, so it should be case friendly with other cases as well. Now I do still have a couple of very small pieces of dust right at the edge of the screen protector, but that's not the screen protector's fault. So if you do see those, those are the only reasons there are these little bubbles, but other than that, the screen protector looks really nice. The screen protector is nice and smooth, feels just like the glass that's on the phone as far as fingerprints goes. It does seem to pick up some fingerprints, but we can easily just wipe those away with minimal effort. Now this is a full coverage screen protector, so it does cover your sensors and your camera, but we're gonna test those out right now. Let's see how well it works with Face ID. Face ID works perfectly fine. Let's test out our camera. As you can see, it is nice and clear. No issues there. Touch working perfectly fine. The other really nice thing about this case is when you put a tempered glass screen protector on the phone, the screen becomes pretty much flush with the sides, top, and bottom of the case. But we still have that raised edge in all of the corners, so when you put your phone face down, it's still not going to touch your screen. And the really nice thing about it being flush is for when you're swiping back, up, and down. On regular phones, when you're swiping, you have to compete with the little raised edge that comes up around the whole case, but not with the Rebel Gen 5. Because it's flush, you can easily swipe up from the bottom, you can easily swipe over from the side, and you can easily swipe down from the top. Absolutely love the fact that they thought of this ahead of time. And as you can see, the screen protector is crystal clear and touch is working perfectly fine. So now let's see what happens when we look at the tempered glass through the lenses of polarized sunglasses because when you're typically looking at the screen with polarized sunglasses, you get this rainbow effect and I wanna see how pronounced it is with this tempered glass. So as you can see, there is a very slight rainbow effect. It's really not bad at all. Let's take a look at the home screen. Yeah, it really doesn't change the colors. There's no shifting. So that's definitely a plus. So if you're gonna be using polarized sunglasses looking at this tempered glass screen, it's gonna be a good experience. And then here we have the 45 watt car adapter. As you can see, it's super small and compact. It's made of all aluminum, so it's really solid. On the top, we have those two USB type C ports. We have a little LED. And if you've ever used one of these before, you know how hard it is to try to get it out of your cigarette lighter once you've put it in. And they've thought of that by putting this little ring that you easily flip up and it makes it a lot easier to pull this out of the cigarette lighter. How cool is that? And here it is in the cigarette lighter adapter. As you can see, it pretty much sits flush with the cigarette lighter, so there'd be no way to pull this out if this little tab wasn't on here. And it makes it really easy to do, you just pop that up and you can easily just pull it out. So to show you how well the car adapter works, I'm gonna do a little test using my Android phone. And the reason for that is because the Android phone shows you exactly how much time you have left until the phone is done charging where the iPhone does not do that. So here we have a 45 watt wall adapter and we have the 45 watt car adapter in a cigarette lighter adapter as well. 
So I'm gonna plug in my 45 watt adapter here. We'll plug this into my Galaxy Fold 5. As you can see, the 45 watt wall adapter does support super fast charging, and it says it'll be done in an hour and 18 minutes. So now I'm gonna plug in the 45 watt car adapter by Phone Rebel, and we'll see how long it takes to charge up the Fold 5. As you can see, it supports super fast charging, and it's gonna take an hour and 17 minutes to totally charge. So you're getting the same amount of power from the Phone Rebel car adapter as we are the 45 watt wall adapter. So now let's see how durable the screen protector is with the scratch and the drop test. All right, so for the drop test, we're going to be dropping a 2.4 ounce steel metal ball at a starting height of two feet. If the screen protector doesn't crack, we'll move it up foot by foot until it eventually does. So here we go at two feet. Two feet. So this screen protector only lasted up until a two foot drop, which is nowhere near the best for drop protection, but let's move on to the scratch test. So typically regular tempered glass starts to scratch around a number six. So we're gonna start off with a number five. Then we'll move on to a number six and then a number seven. So if we take a closer look, you can see there are no scratches at the number five. There are a little deeper at a number six and almost about the same for a number seven. So scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for regular tempered glass. So installation for the screen protector was pretty easy using the case as your guide. It does also seem to be case friendly, but it only lasted up until a two foot drop, which is some of the worst drop protection that I've seen for a tempered glass and scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard. Now, even though the screen protector didn't do great in the drop test, it's still really nice to see a case manufacturer include a screen protector that will provide some protection for the screen on your phone because let's face it, the main thing we're looking at here is the case itself. So if you like the regular Gen 5 with the Aramid Fiber, you're definitely going to love this transparent case. Not only does it protect your phone where it needs it also has the customization with the buttons and the camera lens, but it also shows off the color of your phone without getting all those fingerprints all over the place like regular clear cases do. I also really like the cigarette lighter because it is so compact, pretty much sits flush with your cigarette lighter and it can output that 45 watts. Now, if you guys want to pick either one of these up, I will be putting links in the video description. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out my channel if you give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.